Hey beauties! Today I'm gonna to share with you my Black Friday haul. Yay! It's 1 a.m. or it's 1 a.m. It's 1 p.m. currently, and I've been out since 5 a.m. So just getting home now, it's been like a whole work day, like seven hours or whatever the heck that is. I don't know, I'm so delusional. But I had to jump into this and show you everything I bought. I'm super excited. So obviously that's why I look like shit right now. I like literally run over 15 times by a trailer truck. That's what I look like, but that's okay. Um, last year I did a strict Bath and Body Works Black Friday haul and it has been my most viewed video and everyone seemed to love it. So that is why I thought it would be a great idea to show you guys everything again this year. I have to go quickly, so please like don't mind if one, this is a very long video, and two, I'm out of breath because I did get a lot of stuff. Um, I picked up a f more things than I will show you in the video because they were all gifts, so I'm not going to show you guys any gifts that I got, obviously, because um, I don't want anyone to know what they're getting for Christmas. So I'm just going to show you guys everything I picked up. So let's just start with Sephora. I was not planning on getting anything in Sephora, and I really didn't pick up too much. There was not any sales. I mean, they had a little section of like a bunch of $10 stuff, and I almost bought... That doesn't matter what I actually almost bought, because we need to get on with it. Anyway, so in that section... I did get this Origins, I don't know if you guys can see, Ugh. the Origins like little, I don't know, three mask kit. Again, I don't know if you guys can really see it that well because the lighting's not great. I just set it up quickly. So it is the Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Facial Mask for Clear Pores, Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with, mask with Rose Clay, and the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask to Quench Skin's Thirst. So I thought that was cute. It was a little 10 pack, and, or $10 for this, and it was really cute. The next, hi pal, the next thing I got was the Dr. Jarts um, K-Beauty, like five or eight pack of masks, so it's called the Book of Masks, so it comes with a bunch of different masks in it. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to tell you what they all are, but it's really cool. I didn't go in there for this, my friend went in there for this, and I thought it was really fun, and I love these sheet masks, they're super cool. So, I got that. Um, and the last thing I got was just with my points. So it was the Josie Mare on Luxury with Conscience. With a <laughs> Luxury with a Conscience. And it's just um, a little, you know, gift pack that came with my points. Anyway, that is all I got at Sephora. So it was a very inexpensive trip for me. <laughs> Thank God. The next place I went, which, mind you, this is, I think, my favorite bag. This is a gorgeous bag. It's from Tivana, and I've never purchased anything from Tivana because, I mean, I've always gone in there and sampled their stuff, but their stuff's expensive. But they were doing the buy one gift set, get one gift set free. So I decided to do that. Obviously, one's for a gift, but um, I will show you this anyway. And the person who's this is for probably won't even care that I'm showing it. So this is the Wel Welcome to Loose Leaf Tea. Um, I've been dying, if you guys have gone, oh, this is beautiful inside, look, if you guys, you can't even see it, anyway, if you guys have ever gone to Tivana, then you've probably seen, like, their, I'll just show it to you, I don't know what it, exactly what it's called, Perfect Tea Maker is basically what it's called, alright, so anyway, so you open up the box, this is so awesome, I can't wait, and this is what you get, so you get four airtight containers that are completely empty, you just put your tea in them, and you get four different tea bags and I think she said it lasts a year once they're in these containers so you get the oh fucking a something chai oolong which I obviously I've not I've not I have not ever tasted these you get get the peach tranquility which is an herbal tea sounds good um ooh. you get the jade citrus mint <gasps> oh awesome and you get what is this? Oh, yes. The Youthberry Wild Orange Blossom Tea Blend. They always have this one as a sample, and it is amazing. You then get the Perfect Tea Rock Sugar. They say um, that, I don't know, it's supposed to be, like, healthier for you. But whatever. It came in the pack, which I think is really cool. And rock sugar seems nice. I don't usually sugar like put sugar in my tea, but I think it's pretty cool. You then get the Perfect Tea Measuring Spoon, which... Again, you know, it's them. They say it's the best spoon. It's just a spoon. And then here it is, the perfect tea maker. So basically, ugh, the tea maker, you have three parts to it. Open it up. And it has, I don't know what this part is. 
not the video. Oh, I don't, oh, it sits on this. Anyway, um, you have the filter and everything inside. You put your loose leaf tea in there. You put your loose leaf tea and you put your water and they said to put, you can put your sugar in there too. So it basically steeps all together. So you put it all in here and there's a filter right down there. But when you place it down like this, nothing happens. But if you were to put a cup underneath it, this bottom like pushes up and all your tea comes out like into your cup, which is really cool, I think. So I've been really wanting one of these so, so bad because I love tea and I like loose leaf tea. It's really fun. And I just never had like a thing, you know, to get it with whatever. So I've always wanted one of these. So I'm like, super excited for this because I feel like it came with a ton of stuff. And like I said, I got one for a gift too. So that special person will get a gift and that special person loves tea. So Ugh. how do I put this stuff back together? But I thought they were a good deal for buy, um, for this, like the price that they were. I mean, this kit was $70 and I don't think I'd ever purchase it if they weren't buy one, get one free. So I thought it was a good deal for buy one, get one free. And I guess you could have done every box set that they have in the store. So like if they had another one that was like all their teas, well not all their teas, but all their most popular teas, which was really awesome. But I think it was like a hundred and like, it was ridiculous. I'm like, who pays that for tea? So anyway, you could have like mixed and matched there, but that does not matter. Okay. Is that it? Oh, okay. This is a happy Merry Christmas to me. Um, I'll start with the small thing first. This, I went to Michael Kors, not meaning to like get anything, but um, I did, so that's that. And I just got this little tiny wallet because it was basically, I needed to spend 50 more dollars <laughs> to get $50 off. So basically I got this for free. So I bought this for myself for free. Um, and yeah, I thought it was really cute because I don't have one of these. So it's nice to like go out with it. If I'm just like going somewhere small, like I could carry this. It's really cute. And it's Michael Kors, of course. Okay. Ugh. It's a Christmas gift for me, which is great because I have the best boyfriend ever. So I picked this out. You guys already know my obsession with these Michael Kors Hamilton totes. And this... You can't even see how beautiful the color is. You literally cannot. I'm obsessed with this bag. It is so freaking gorgeous. It's like my hair, actually. It's like a raspberry, like, cran. I don't know. Just the most, stop it. The most gorgeous color ever. So I did get this early Christmas gift, technically. Um, and they were having a 25% off at Michael Kors, so... You know, it was on sale, so I bought it. I love it so much, I'm so excited. Then I went to Lush, and this is where the fun begins. Okay, so, receipts, get out of here. So I picked up another bottle of the Rose Argon body conditioner in the big size this time. Um, last year I tried it for the first time and I got it in like a kit and it was super tiny, and I'm pretty sure I showed it to you guys, and hey, cats are playing. Anyway, so I bought it in the big size because I loved it so, so much. Then next I got the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. Um, this is the self-preserving one because, oh God, she did um, one arm with the self-preserving and one arm with the other um, Ocean Salt and I liked this one more. So it looks like, I'm not going to tip it because it's going to spill, but it looks like that. It's blue, but you're supposed to mix it up to kind of get the salt you know, emulsified in the rest of the stuff, and I loved it. Next, I bought Rosy Cheeks Fresh Face Mask, which actually has to go in the fridge because it's been out of the fridge. Oh my god, it smells so freaking good. Um, cleanse from cheek to cheek, a rosy mask with plenty of calamine powder and rose clay to soothe skin. They do say it's supposed to be for, like, oily um, combination type skin, I don't have that kind of skin in the winter. I'm very dry in the winter, but I don't care. I use so many moisturizing products. I don't mind like using something that's gonna take out a little bit more moisture. Next, I got two limited edition body, you know, what is a shower gel. Oh, I didn't realize Lord of Mistral was a shower cream. Cool. So I got the Rose Jam shower gel and the Lord of Mistral shower cream. I got the small ones because 
it took me a whole basically a whole year to use this one um last year and if i have two i don't need the big one and i'm not spending like 20 something dollars so i feel better about spending just ten dollars even though it is a better deal whatever i don't care i just bought the little guys and i love them um so lord of misrule says a feast for your senses get down and earthy with this mischievous herbal blend of spicy black pepper and patchouli oils which is funny because i usually hate patchouli but that's so nice and then rose jam if you're familiar it's a sweet tart and wonderfully fresh this indulgent blend of rose vanilla lemon and lemon excuse me will leave your can you tell i've been up since 4 a.m <sighs> will leave you smelling purely blissful and it freaking does all right next where's my actual receipt oh here it is i don't remember the names of the bath bombs so i'm gonna have to read them off to you um oh well this is fun obviously i'm sure you guys have heard about it if you know um lush this is, I got the Santa fun and I've never like bought fun cause I thought it was weird at, cause I was like, why am I going to play with like Play-Doh in the bath? But she said it makes really good bubbles too. So you could break a piece off and like throw it in the, um, the bubble, like the bath. It says use as a bubble bath by crumbling a small portion under hot running water. When you're finished having fun, store it back in its wrapper. You can wash your body, your hair. Um, by taking a small piece. I won't be washing my hair with it, but I could wash my body with it. So I got that and I'm super excited to try it. Next, oh, next, well, let me show you this first. Oh my God, I literally died. This is Golden Handshake and it's a hot hand mask. You just pick a container basically. Hey, go away. You pick a container and you put it in it and you just melt it with hot water you know, and you just mix it up, whatever. And it's a hot hand mask. So you do like a scrub first or whatever you want. And then your mask over top and it's amazing. That's this. It smells amazing. I don't even know what it smells like. It doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me, but Google it. It's called golden handshake. It is so awesome. Oh, the next thing I got was sunny side. Is it sunny side? No, is it? Yeah. Next thing I got was sunny side. I think this is sunny side. Anyway, it's a bath bomb. It smells so freaking good. It actually doesn't smell as good as it did the other day, but it's really nice. Um, I bought one a few weeks ago and I loved it. And I used it in the bath the other day and it gave you such good bubbles. I bought another one because I think it's really lovely. Next I bought, hmm, what is this? Oh. I bought, wait, is that Big Bang or is that Sunnyside? Hold on. This is Big Bang Bubble Bar. So I got another bubble bar, um, which I'm super excited about. But also they said this in here is also a bath melt. So I'm really, really excited for that. It smells so good. I'm not going to read you guys like the descriptions of what they smell like because that would take too long and I have a little a big bag over here to get through still. Oh, the next one. I got is cinders now when i first smelt cinders a few weeks ago i hated it i could it's supposed to smell like fruit punch and it really smelled like fruit punch the last time i tried it and it i was like oh no oh no too sweet too sweet i hate this i hate this but honestly i don't smell fruit punch anymore so i don't know what's happened to me over the past few weeks but my nose is clearly not as crazy all right what is this one? Oh. This one is called Stardust, and I just bought one of these, and I have not used it, but I know it's limited edition, and I really liked it, so I wanted to pick up another one. Ooh. This one's called Milky Bath Bar, right? No, Bath Bubble Bar. So it's also another bubble bar, which I thought I would just get it because I love bubble bars, but I find, like, obviously, like, the bath bombs. I have so many bath bombs, but they don't cause bubbles, so I wanted to get a bunch of ba um, bubble bars, so that way I could have a nice bubble bath. Um, so I got this one. This one's obviously going to have to be broken up into a few because it would be a waste to throw this whole thing in there. Also, more glitter. So much glitter. I don't remember. And I can't remember if I purchased this one before either. But this is the So White. Oh, my God. This is the So White bath bomb. And I can't remember if I bought this one already. Um, and if I did, I love it. So I have another one. But if I didn't, so that's so exciting that I purchased it. So that's all that I bought from Lush. All right, guys. Holy shit. Last but not least, you know where I went. 
Okay, I'm gonna first start out by stating my friend and I got literally the same exact stuff. I mean, I got one extra thing than she did. And I'm gonna start, I'm gonna tell you, what did I buy? I spent $69, okay? Oh my God, though. I'm not complaining because I thought I was like, I basically stole from them, I thought. I was like, holy shit, like I saved so much money. I saved $142. That's ridiculous. So I would have spent $200 if I went, like if I didn't have any coupons. So they were doing buy three, get three free, and you can combine all your coupons. I got to use three of the $10 off 30. So I got $30 off that way, and then of course like everything else was discounted. So this bitch, somehow her cashier was maybe smoking crack. I don't know what she was doing. Something crazy. But her cashier allowed her to use two coupons, two. She used four coupons total. Um, well, no, she used more coupons. I don't know. Anyway, for percentage, she allowed her to use three coupons, actually, that aren't even out yet, like, that you cannot use until December 7th. They had, like, a one where you could choose the price, so if you spent 20, you'd get $5 off, 10, you'd get, like, $30, you'd get $10 off, $45, you'd get 15. So they let her use two $15 off coupons, a 20% off coupon, which, mind you, don't exist. Do not exist okay until december 7th she got to use that and a ten dollar and her free gifts like her like free items this bitch spent 26 or 22 or something crazy dollars 22 dollars this bitch got the exact same stuff as i did oh i wanted to go back there and be like excuse me give me the same discount what the hell but not stating like i mean 69 dollars for everything i got i think is a steal so that's basically what I bought last year. I spent the same amount, I think. Um, so I'm not complaining that I had, but she, the girl was crazy. The girl clearly did not know what she was doing. I am jealous. So anyway, I got another $10 off there. After that little episode of flipping out right there, first thing I picked up were these socks. They have little mice on them. And the only reason I got these fuzzy socks was because I needed to spend like three more dollars or something in order, ugh, in order to use one of my coupons. And I thought these were super, can you not? So I thought these were super cute. So I got those, oh, that's a gift. Let's get that out of there. Um, okay, so the next item, what the heck? The next item, oh, I got two fresh balsam wallflowers, a marshmallow fireside wallflower, which I think I have plenty of them, but I just wasn't sure how many I would, I had. And I think I have like, a full marshmallow fireside candle. So I, you know, you guys, if you've been watching me and watching all my freaking Bath and Body Works hauls, you know that I like to match my candles to my wallflowers, so I don't want to run out of anything. So then I picked up another Winter Sun um, wallflower, warm vanilla sugar wallflower, and a mahogany balsam wallflower. What's this? Oh, this was my free item. So this was so cool. So they had one of the coupons was like get um, up to a $13 value. It was like any free item in, in the whole store. So I bought one of these candles mm, a few, like a month ago when they first came out because I thought it was like a really nice scent. Um, and I tried holding off to like buy all of the winter scents until like this sale. Um, but I did pick this one up. It's the Winter Sun, which is absolutely freaking amazing. I guess I'll read this to you. A blend of sparkling citrus velvet vetiver something leaves creamy musk inspired by glowing sunlight breaking through snowy trees because they know exactly what that smells like anyway so i got that that was my free gift which is awesome all right and next holy macaroni i got marshmallow fireside i am obsessed with this candle if you've watched i don't know like i said before if you watch my video or my Halls, you'll know my whole background with this candle. It is to die. Next, I bought mahogany balsam, which I have currently burning in my bedroom. And I'm not, I'm gonna stay. I don't smell the balsam in this. I smell more mahogany, but it's not like mahogany teakwood where it's really manly. But this is still manly. But I just I don't know. I kind of like this better than mahogany teakwood because it does have that balsam in there. So I feel like it softens it a little bit and the teak wood's not in there. So I don't think. No, fresh balsam, rich mahogany and juniper berries. So it's a little calm, like a little bit more calm. Next, I got fresh balsam. I don't know if you see that. I just smelled the bottom of the candle. 
it's funny that I got fresh balsam and um, mahogany balsam because you'd think that I was really obsessed with balsam. This one, again, like I just said, I don't think it smells as much like this. Like this is pure Christmas tree. This is, this thing gives me life. This has balsam, fir, and eucalyptus. So it's completely different to me. Um, so I got two of the fresh balsam candles because you know, a girl can't be without this fresh balsam. It's my favorite candle. I will burn through both of those in no time. Next, I got party dress. Yum! And again, if you would have watched last year's, you would have known what I said about this. So two years ago, Jasmine, Holiday, Peony, and Orchid. Um, two years ago, they came out with party dress. They came out with all of their like New Year's ones, like black tie and party dress and champagne toast and all those. So I loved party dress. I loved black tie. I have a black tie. I loved party dress. But last year, they got rid of party dress. Well, they had party dress. They just called it sparkling confetti, which I think I might still have a little bit left of that one. But they called it sparkling confetti. And now they decided that was a stupid name and they came back out with party dress, which I love. It's amazing. It smells, I'll read it to you again. I said it under my own breath. Orchid petals, white peony, and soft jasmine. So that's really, really nice. And last but not least, I got warm vanilla sugar. I'm not a sweet fan, except for, you know, the select few sweet candles I like and they all smell the same and it, yeah. Vanilla Absolute Florals and Sandalwood. So I noticed they had this one in the candle. I've noticed online they sold this candle. They've never sold it in stores. So I had to pick it up when I saw it. I love it. It smells so good, but it's not too like overpowering where it's like super like vanilla-y cakey, but it's just so, so, so nice. So that is the sixth candle I bought. Um, I don't know if I mentioned they did the buy three, get three free thing again, so that's why I got so many candles. That is everything that I purchased for myself on Black Friday, because of course you know you can't go out shopping for other people and not buy something for yourself. So I did spend quite a bit, but I did get a lot of Christmas gifts, and a lot of my shopping is actually done, which is freaking awesome, so... I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And I will have a skincare, not a skincare, but I am um, the first part to my series I'm doing the like skincare favorite type thing. So I'm going to be having my cleansers and toners coming very soon to you guys. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of in the mood. I might just film it now looking like shit and I don't really care, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, the subscribe button will be here. Here, 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 or wherever it'll be around. So check it out. I will see you guys next time. I'm super hyper. Please don't mind me. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Love, love, love. My very first favorite is something that I have spoken to you guys about before. Um, said that I would never buy it because I thought it was overpriced.